Well, welcome back. Time to satisfy your sweet tooth with three delicious homemade crepe recipes that are perfect for any occasion. Chef Al Bueno with Sweet Paris Cafe is sharing how to make the recipes under 10 minutes. Welcome to the show. Hello. Thank you for having me. Um, okay, let's talk about Crepes 101 to begin with because this is basically a crepe is a very thin pancake? That's one way okay. to describe it. I personally like to describe it by you take a pancake, take a tortilla, put them right together and oh. boom. Oh, you have a crepe. there you perfect. go. And everyone is, uh, just so everybody knows, the only real difference between a pancake and a crepe is going to be that leavening agent that makes that rise and makes it nice and fluffy. Got okay. it. So they're nice and thin Absolutely. and they come in all different styles, sweet and savory as and well. And we also do breakfast as well. So what if your mind can invent it, you can put it inside of a So crate. like eggs and cheese and even Some greens. bacon, lettuce. jalapenos, habaneros, whatever your mind can come up with. Okay, I love Sweet Paris. I've been to a few of the locations, but if we want to do this at home, what's the key? Well, First, you're going to want to have a little bit of practice, but more importantly, you're going to want to have some confidence. <laughs> um, I have made one crepe over here in advance, but I can just make a quick little one so that way we could all see the process. And the consistency of the batter, uh, it looks about the same as pancake batter, right? What's the difference it, between the batters? It all, I mean, the ingredients are going to be the same. We're talking milk, eggs, butter, salt, sugar, all that good stuff. You know, like I previously mentioned, the leavening agent, like uh, the baking soda, baking powder, that is the one chemical that is going to make it rise since okay. it does not have it. As long as you can spread it out nice and thin, you're going to get a paper thin crepe every time. Okay, I'm not sure I could do that at home. Well, I mean, it's not fair. I've been doing it for a decade now, so <laughs> I'll cut you some slack, but okay. I can teach you if you give me 30 minutes. Yeah, and Chef Al, obviously uh, most of us do not have this giant crepe maker device at home, but we can just use like a, a, what, a fry pan maybe? You can use like a shallow fry pan with plenty of butter. Also, you can find some uh, pre-made uh, crepes in the freezer section of your local Whole Foods um, or any other high-end grocery store. Okay. Or you can even just take some Bisquick, add a little extra milk or water just to make it work. All right. And the, the crepe that you have prepared over here with the little side of salad, mm -hmm. this one I notice is pretty thick. You've loaded it up. Well, I mean, the spring mix inside is the only thing that's going to give it the appearance of uh, bigness, but we are French inspiration with Texas size portions. So I love it. <laughs> you definitely, definitely are going to be coming in uh, without an appetite once you leave. But uh, real quick, I was going to make uh, another option. As okay. you can see, we already have one of our lunchy crepes, you know, mm. something light, something to get you through the day, kind of like a power lunch kind of a thing. Now I'm just going to be making a simple parfait crepe uh, at the restaurant. This is called Allison's Parfait. Um, this is going to be some vanilla yogurt. My preference, if you're going to be doing it at home, definitely use some Greek yogurt. Okay. And increase that protein, you know, amount. Um, some strawberries, some bananas. Ooh, just throw some yum. of this on here. That looks delicious. And the crepe that I was pointing to earlier, this one is actually turkey, grapes, and brie cheese Ooh. inside. Oh, that is, it's light. This is the first place I've ever uh, seen that uses those ingredients. Right. In that combination. Delicious. I've never been disappointed. I'm laughing because our stage manager, Katie, just now, like, clutched her pearls. Yes. Do you, do you, here, do you want to You want this, it? Katie? Come on in, Katie. On. It's not a prop crepe. Feel free to it's enjoy it. It is real Go food. It. it was just made. That. Get it, girl. <laughs> Get after it. Yes. I love it. <laughs> she was like, <gasps> oh, heaven, heaven on earth. And look okay, at that, so Chef you just Al. let that warm up just a little bit, right? Yeah. And fold it. I just fold it, and I mean, what kind of crepe is not going to have powdered sugar? None that we have at Sweet right? Paris. I can guarantee you that right now. And then you actually make the envelope, right? That's what we call it, a little envelope for the ingredients? Yes. I mean, pretty much the envelope for the ingredients. Like, if we take a crepe, you know, I, uh, we spin it out to be about the size of a vinyl record, to those who remember what a vinyl record is. <laughs> okay. I think I just aged myself. Uh, but once we get it to the size of a record, we are just going to fold it in half like so. And then we are free to do whatever we like. If okay. you want to add some Nutella... Who wouldn't? Oh, I love Nutella. Uh, we have uh, Dulce de Leche, which is an Argentine sour caramel. Oh, yeah. Really class, in my opinion. By the way, um, I think Katie's still working on her crepe over there. Do you love it? She's yeah. speechless. <laughs> speechless. She can't even say anything. She's in that heaven. That is a great compliment for me. Let's try this. So what are you going to put in that one, Chef? You making so another one? So this one, actually, I was going to have you guys help me make a crepe. Oh, yes. okay. Something very simple, but clearly the most popular uh -huh. in a Nutella, strawberry, and banana. Mm. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, I had to stop by the restaurant to pull out just a little bit of Nutella. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> just three kilos. I don't have much. I do apologize. Right. 
Um, so oh, wow. This is the best day of my so life. So I'm going to do just a little demo so you okay. guys have an idea. We just take a little bit of Nutella like so. And we're just going to try to spread it. And this is just like peanut butter. Okay. You know, so it's going to have that thickness. You know, you're going to kind of want to let it get a little bit warm so that way it's more malleable. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. That looks so good. Al, you're at the Highland Village location, yeah? Uh, I'm a little bit everywhere. Everywhere? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Highland Village, Rice Village, City Center. You know, we also do catering events, so sometimes I'll be at somebody's house for a baby shower. Oh. You know, whatever people Can need. Can I make a request? Can Absolutely. we just have it without the strawberries? Like, that looks like heaven to me. Courtney you know what? Like strawberries. I know. Oh, I'm sorry well, nobody's perfect. I understand. That's <laughs> completely okay. I have a weird thing about strawberries. However, I mean, I'm sure the other one was really good. Did you like that one with the strawberries? Oh. Oh, yes, it was so good. Are you yeah. kidding? But this is like heaven to me. And this is an entire, I mean, it's not like a dainty little snack. Mm -mm. This is an entire meal, dude. We're in Houston, right? We got to mm -hmm. do everything big. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got the Nutella, we got the bananas. How many different crepes do you guys have on the menu? We roughly have about 28 to 32, depending on the month. We also have crepes of the month. We always bring in a new sweet, a new savory, something a little bit more seasonal. Um, so that way, everybody has a new reason to come on by. Oh my gosh. But we could do this at home. Just do the store bought and just make. You can buy them at like the store. You. you can buy the mix. And yeah. uh, it'll probably just add like maybe a little bit of milk or some eggs, something okay. simple. Um, but if you don't want to make. that over? Uh, hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold it up before we dig into it, because look how beautiful that is. Whoa, whoa. Oh. That's how we roll over wow. as we Wow. What else do you have under can there? Can I actually borrow that? <laughs> <laughs> you can borrow the bucket and all, if you okay. like. Al, thank you so much for coming by. No, we it's will my pleasure. see you uh, at a baby shower, or maybe the Highland. Baby Village. shower, wedding reception, or just mm. because it's ending in Saturday. Oh, okay. I love Sounds it. Sounds good. Al from Sweet Paris, thanks so much for stopping by. By the way, we do have the recipes posted mm. on our website, HoustonLife.tv. Mm. Good, Courtney? Delicious.